Good morning and welcome to Vlogmas Day. Is it nine or ten? Nine, I think. Nine! <laughs> So this morning, I've just been to Aldi. I've got a really, really bad back. It's been happening for a little while now. I've been getting a lot of back pain when I've been standing up. I've got, de 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 I can't say the word, degenerative disc disease anyway, but it's getting really painful and it's in the middle of my back today. It's really, really bad all the time. So I'm gonna take an approxim with my breakfast in a minute. Um, but I thought I'd just insert some clips of what I filmed in Audi for you. Um, I just filmed a few of the seasonal things in the middle aisle. So go and check them out now. what Pippin and Frank have got up to today they got into Mark's shoes pretending they're in a car honestly you two you get up to anything won't you this is what I now have to contend with these two fell over I bought stuff today because I've been getting little bits as we go along for Christmas um, so it's not so much in all in one go but oh now I've got to put it away with a bad back. <laughs> Wish me luck. Right, I just thought I'd show you what bits I got for Christmas already at the um, at Aldi's. Because, you know, it might be of interest to you. Um, I'm so glad that I got this Alpine Mist candle. And it just smells like Christmas trees. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. So this was $3.99, $3.99. So I'm so glad I got that. And then in here are all the other Christmas bits. So I got Celebrations, which were £3.49, Quality Street, which were £3.49. I'd have got the others as well, but they didn't have Heroes or Roses, so I'll have to get them somewhere else. These are always a good snack from Aldi's, cheese cracker sharing tub. So you could just put the tub out and open the lid, you know. Um, but I'll probably decant them into little dishes because I am that extra person. Um, these are gorgeous as well. Sour cream and chive pretzels, Christmas stars. These are so nice and they're great for putting into nibbly things. Of course I've got a box of Sauvignon. This was 11 99 It's equivalent to three bottles. So I'll obviously get more than this. That won't just do me over Christmas. My goodness, I need, <laughs> I need some bottles as well. And we've also got the Prosecco that I bought the other day. Um, and then I got this. So this is like a knockoff version of Bailey's for Audi. But they've got a white chocolate one. So I had to get that at £7.50. Um, so yeah, they're... That's all the Christmas bits that I got today. I'm just putting them in here because I'm going to take them out to the garage in a minute um, with this lot. Oh, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. But it's just taking a while because of my back. Right, I just thought I'd show you um, my lists for the Christmas Day food. So we sort of prepare it. We write down what we've got so i can mark and he cooks it so i'll put times and things next to it all 
So I make sausage rolls and we're not having dinner till three or four o'clock, probably more four o'clock. So until then, I'll bring out my warm sausage rolls, some duck spring rolls, nuts and crisps and all that sort of thing. And then dinner will be, like I say, about four o'clock, which will be turkey, pigs in blankets, stuffing, honey glazed carrots, parsnips, cauliflower cheese, roast potatoes, Yorkshire pudding, sprouts, broccoli, gravy and cranberry sauce. And then for dessert, Lisa's making a cheesecake. I will either provide mince pies and mum's bought the Christmas pudding. And we'll have that with either cream, ice cream or custard. Um, for breakfast and Christmas morning, we have ham like gammon that I cook with croissants and Buck's Fizz. So that's all the stuff I need for Christmas Day. Um, so I've split it up between Aldi and Tesco because we've got a voucher for Tesco and there's not everything you can get in Aldi. So I know you can't get a box of Pinot Grigio in Aldi. I know you can't get a box of Rosé. I'm not sure about stuffing so I put that on there. We need corn flour because we make the Yorkshire puddings with that. Crisps and large snacks. I've got quite a few already but crisps always go down well. And a box of Roses and Heroes because they don't sell those in Aldi for some reason. And then Aldi, I've got down sprouts, broccoli, cauliflower cheese, potatoes, two bags, um, carrots. That's not like just two potatoes. <laughs> Cream, custard, two pint of milk, mark one dinner. Now, I've looked on the calendar to see how many other dinners we're going to need. And I'm out on that Friday with Ange, so I'll just get a dinner for Mark and that's all we need. Uh, croissants, nice bread because Mark likes bread and ham instead of croissants. Crisps because Aldi, oh no, this is Aldi. Tesco do better crisps than Aldi, but if, it, if they've got any that I like, I'll get them. Eggs, party food like the duck spring rolls, um, parsnips, nuts, ice cream and bottles of Sauvignon because like I say, I've got that box but that probably won't be enough for all over Christmas so I'll get a couple of bottles as well and that's it um, but what I will do is I take a pen with me I'm doing it all on the same day god help me um, <laughs> this is the Thursday before Christmas so I will take these obviously both lists with me I will take a pen and then what I can't I'm going to do Audi first and what I can't get Audi I'll add to Tesco list and there'll probably be other bits that I have to add to it during the time between now and then but it's just it it sort of it takes it out of your head and onto paper therefore removing you know what i was talking about with stress the other day removing that part of your stress um because you've got it all written down and then you know you can add to that list if things come up which they will i mean i haven't written like fruit and stuff like that on there i'll need to get that um, but it's going to be a lot less um, budget this year because we won't, we're not doing a bit massive tea spread. We used to do like dinner for say one and then we used to bring out another spread about others five and no one wanted it. You know, everyone's like, oh, I'm too full. So this way we thought if we just bring out some sausage rolls and crisps and that in the morning and then have a late dinner. So, therefore, it shouldn't be as expensive, fingers crossed. We usually spend around £200 on our Christmas food shop, so hopefully it won't be that much. But I just thought I'd share that with you because I thought that might help you if you're organising Christmas Day. Um, if you're not, then great, you know, <laughs> buy a bottle of wine and take it with you. <laughs> but I love having Christmas Day at home. I've always loved it. Oh, my back hurts so bad. <laughs> I'm going to go and get the heat pad on it in a minute. I've got to do some more wrapping. I've got to uh, wrap Poppy's Christmas Eve box because I just ran out of energy and time yesterday. So I thought I'll do that today. But I really need to get the heat pad on my back for a while first because it hurts so much. And you know what wrapping's like. You have to lean over it, don't you? So anyway, I just thought I would share that list with you. Hope it helps. I've just uh, treated myself for lunch today to a tomato and mozzarella flatbread. 
and I'm watching An Angel Falls um, on Netflix. I'm going to go through a film list with you later, like a checklist of my favourite films, my favourite Christmas films and ones that I've enjoyed. So I will definitely go through that with you later. But uh, for now, I've got my heat pad on. I'm going to have my lunch. I've done... I've wrapped Poppy's Christmas Eve box, so that's done. Um, that's as much as my back could take. I've got me new candle light. It hasn't it doesn't smell yet because it's only just lit. Um, I've got a few, a couple of things I wanted to do. So I really wanted to do um, some craft this afternoon, but I, I just don't think my back's going to take it. I really don't. So I have to listen to my body, and I'm really sorry to let you down on that because I know you all wanted to see Christmas craft, but. I have to do what's right for my body at the moment, so I will go through the list later with you of Christmas films. Right, I've just seen a load of birds going mad on our bird thingy, and all the fat balls have gone mouldy, and I just need to go out and sort it all out really, but it's flipping freezing. Let's go and have a look. Oh God, it's so cold. It's so cold. Have you seen Evie with her little things? Let's say hello Eve. Hello Eve, look at that little face. So, she's got her Santa and her snowman, haven't you Eve? Right, let's come over here. Oh, the grass is like crisp because it's so cold. Can you see what I mean? <laughs> they've gone all mouldy. Oh, they've eaten all the mealworms and this is growing stuff. See, where the bird seed falls down we've got all this so in January we're going to dig all this out and put some paving slabs down around it so we can put some more mealworms in let's take this off as well and sort this out because that's just revolting oh. right okay should we do this one first I'll tell you what it is so cold out here Oh my gosh, it's just like absolutely freezing. Oh, they're going everywhere. <laughs> right, I have to cover these. Oh, oh no. The mealworms have gone everywhere. The birds are going to be eating them off of the table. <laughs> Let me show you, <laughs> look. <laughs> oh my goodness. They're everywhere. Let's just <laughs> scoop them up and put them back in. <laughs> That's that one filled. And now we'll fill up this one. But this one, can you see how it's <laughs> it's got wet and it's sort of seeded itself at the bottom? Oh. Make sure the birdies have got some food. Oh. There we go. Right, let's put these back. Oh, my back hurts because I'm shivering. That one's there. Oh. Mealworm one. This freaks me out when I first did it with all these dried worms, but now it doesn't bother me. There. Um, I'll put this out, but it hasn't got anything in because I just got rid of it all, so I need to buy some more fat balls, ones that they might actually eat because they didn't eat the other ones. So I'll leave it there for now, and it will remind me oh, to get some. <laughs> it's so cold. Right, let's put these away. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to attempt to do Holly's lights. I'll show you what I'm doing in her bedroom. I'm just going to move them. Oh, gosh. It's so, so cold. How many times have I said that? Take a shot every time I've said it. No, don't. Actually, look, I'll show you. Look. Oh, Poppy would love that because she'd be able to smash that. 
I have to tell her. This little tree, like the batteries go so quick on it because I have it on all day and it's batteries, they just go in days, but I'm just leaving it like that until they go really, really dim and then I'll change them. Right, so I've got these command hooks because in Holly's room, these are her bed lights. Oh, it's going a bit blurry. But why we put them halfway across her room, I don't know why we didn't put them up here and she could have had a longer, you know, a longer light thing. So that's what I'm going to do now. Um, and attempt to put them higher up for her. So I think that will look much better. Do you like all her jelly cats? All her jelly cats. She's got acorn, conker, uh, corn, watermelon, fox. Oh, that's not a jelly cat. That's just goofy. That's her, her one she's had since she was a little girl. And then she's got her two teddies here. So, right. Let's get this sorted. A few moments later. Oh my goodness it looks amazing it looks so much better before it was here right let me go back a bit it was halfway so you only got that bit of lights you've got the whole lot now oh my goodness it just looks amazing and i might try and get something to clip up there on the top you know like some little flowers or something I just think it looks amazing. I'm so pleased with that. I'm going to send a photo to Holly because she's um, staying at Louis at the moment. That's amazing. Do you want to see Artie having his breakfast? There he is, look, munching away. Is that nice? He's like, excuse me, I'm having me grub. Go on in. We won't stop you. All right, then I'll leave you. <laughs> the ratters are... Oh no they're not, they're in here look, you can see, they're in the hammock. But alright Artie we'll leave you, it's like I'm not eating now because you've disturbed me. <laughs> I am so pleased with that. Oh let me know in the comments what you think. I'm so pleased I made it higher. What I might do is quickly wipe over her shelves because they're quite thick with dust. So I might do that but... Oh, look at it. It looks so pretty. Right, let's go through the uh, Christmas films that I've written down for you. I thought I'd sit by the tree so it's nice and festive for you, even though it's killing my back. The things you do for Vlogmas. Right, actually, it, it feels quite nice sitting down here like this. I must stop saying right. I either say right or um. But there we go. The other thing I'm going to do, other than films, is what whose vlogmas is I'm watching on YouTube. Because I thought that would be another good one for you to, to know, so in case you wanted to watch anyone else's vlogmas. Okay, so the first one is my favourite film of all time, and it's The Holiday. I don't know if it's on any channels at the moment. You could probably get it on Prime Video, but you might have to pay for it. It's the best film ever. There was talk recently, actually, of a sequel coming out. But it's not happening. It was false, unfortunately, because it is my favourite film. Um, the second one is The Grinch. That is on... Is it Amazon Prime? Prime TV? It might be. It might be. Go and check that. Um, the Grinch is just a classic. It's brilliant. I love it. I love the animated one as well. Right, that's better. I'm not holding the camera now, <laughs> which is better. Okay, so we've got The Holiday of the Grinch, and then Muppets Christmas Carol. We always watch Christmas Eve. Mark and I get a Chinese. Whether the girls are here or not, they probably won't be. Um, they definitely won't be. So it'll just be Mark and I having a Chinese takeaway and watching The Muppets Christmas Carol. It's a tradition of ours. We've always done it and we love it. <laughs> um, love Actually is another really good one. I think all of these you could probably watch on Prime for like to rent at the moment. I don't think they're all on Netflix. You'd have to search them. Uh, Polo Express. 
Now, I love the Polar Express, but I don't like... There's a bit in it where um, the guy on the train makes this really horrendous sound every time his beard's tugged, and I cannot stand it. I have to actually fast-forward that bit or, or mute it. I can't stand that noise. And Holly hates the Polar Express, but Poppy likes it. Your Christmas or Mine is on Prime Video. Now, this was brilliant. It's been written by Tom Parry, who's a comedian, and the writing in it, honestly, I was hooked from the moment I started watching it to the moment it finished. And what do you know, my battery's flashing. I mean, right, back in the room. So, yes, definitely watch Your Christmas or Mine if you've got Prime Video. Um, I don't think it's on anything else it's just been filmed for prime so i apologize if you haven't got prime because it's a really good film um okay cross country christmas cross country christmas channel five so this is on channel five most people have got that cross country christmas <laughs> very very good uh, nativity one and two i love like, the first film is the best, it's iconic. Um, second film's okay, because I just love David Tennant. But I don't like films three and four. I just think they get too musical, too stupid. Just, I think they've stretched it too far after films one and two. But I love Nativity one and two. Um, the Family Stone, I've got that one. I've got the Harry Potter trilogy, of course. I would recommend just if you've got one day where you're going to be in just do a Harry Potter a thon get your hot chocolate get your blanket get your snacks and just watch Harry Potter you can't go wrong really Arthur Christmas Arthur Christmas is really good and that is on I think it's on Netflix but you'd have to check that one it might be it's not on Disney is it is Arthur Christmas Disney? I don't think it is. I think it's Netflix. And then, of course, Elf. I think Elf is one of the most favourite loved films throughout Christmas. Like, everyone that I speak to loves Elf. And I do love it, and I have to watch it over Christmas. It's not on at the moment, so it will probably be on a bit later in December. Angel Falls uh, Christmas, which is on Netflix, that's got the bloke in it that I, oh, he's so lovely. He's from One Tree Hill. I can't remember his name now, but he is so dishy. <laughs> is that like a really old phrase, dishy? Oh, he's just gorgeous. So, but he plays a bit of a weird character. He plays an angel that has come down to help uh, relationship but he ends up falling in love with the woman so anyway it's really good check it out um, <sighs> Christmas Carol I have to mention this with Jim Carrey I think that's on Disney Plus at the moment because it is a Disney film it's the one with Jim Carrey the cartoon one Mark and I went to see this in the cinema in 3D and it was the first 3D film we'd ever seen at the cinema and it felt like all the snow was coming at you. It was amazing. And Mark's favourite Christmas film ever is A Christmas Carol. I really want to take him to London to see the stage show at some point. But it's very expensive. But I will get there one day. So, yeah, we always have to watch um, A Christmas Carol. Usually while we're wrapping the girls' stocking presents, we do that. So that will be happening soon. Um, a Castle for Christmas on Netflix, that's really good, about a writer, a lady that's a writer and she goes to this castle to get away and falls in love with the laird, you know, all the usual. Love Hard on Netflix, A California Christmas Netflix, now there's two or three of these films and they're brilliant, they're all brilliant, so go and watch them. A Christmas Prince, all three films again on Netflix at the moment. They are brilliant. I love them so much. Um, I haven't watched them yet this year because there's other films that I want to watch before. But if I run out of stuff to watch, I will go back and watch them. 
the night before Christmas, which is spelled K-N-I-G-T, like as in night, um, in armour, you know. That's very good. That's on Netflix as well. Falling for Christmas on Netflix. Now, that's the new one with Lindsay Lohan. And it's okay, but it's not my favourite film. But I'd say go and watch it because it gives you all the good Christmas feel-good vibes, you know. Christmas on Mistletoe Farm, Netflix. I am about to watch this now. I haven't watched it yet. It looks hilarious. So I am I'm just going to put that on now and, and settle down with my heat pad on my back and watch that. Oh god. Uh. But it looks hilarious. Christmas Chronicles 1 and 2 on Netflix. Oh my god, they're just so feel good, these Christmas Chronicles. And it's got, oh, what's his name? Thingy that's married to Thingy. Oh, Fibro Fog. You'll know who I mean. <laughs> You'll know who I mean. Goldie Horn and who's her husband? Kurt Russell? Is that it? Have I got it right? Anyway, <laughs> they're in both films and it's brilliant. I love them. I haven't again watched them yet this year, but I will do. So where's that? Chronicles. Holiday in the Wild, Netflix, brilliant film. Mark watched this with me and he loved it. It's about a woman that goes, um, I think, is she a vet? She might be a vet and goes into Africa and they set up this camp thing for animals. It's just really, really good. And it is a Christmas film, I promise you. Um, Father Christmas is back. On Netflix now this is hilarious this has got a big star cast in it it's got Elizabeth Hurley um, it's got what's the one out of Frasier him there's loads of famous people in it and it's really good I'm gonna definitely be watching that again this Christmas and the last one I've got is Home Alone which is on Disney Plus at the moment so Mark and I watched that the other day or evening and I said shall we watch Home Alone we haven't watched that in years and he went yeah let's put that on oh we had a wonderful time it was brilliant and there were so many things that we didn't miss we that we missed before when we watched it when we were younger and we were like oh I didn't realize that oh, I didn't. <laughs> and it's just it's just a feel-good film I love it I don't like the other Home Alones I only like the first one it's just me <laughs> <laughs> some of the sequels can be good like the the prince um for christmas they're all those films are really good so they haven't they've just got better and i really want them to make another one but <laughs> i don't think they will anyway i hope this has given you um some ideas of what to watch over christmas and over december i just love it i love sitting here with my fire on my tree lights my heat pad <laughs> and just enjoying the Christmas films when I've got a minute to watch them. I usually try to watch one a day at least. Um, it just depends what I've got on, you know. Hello, happy Vlogmas day 10. I think it is anyway. Wet hair. <laughs> no makeup on yet, but I will do. Um, I've got this new white shirt on. I've wanted a white shirt um, for absolutely ages like a baggy white shirt but that doesn't make me look like a 10 ton tessie that I can wear a nice cardigan with or a jacket with I just think a white shirt is so versatile so this one is for it's quite long but I like that and it's from next uh, if I can remember I'll tag it for you but I think it was around 28 pounds and I thought that wasn't too bad and it's an oversized because usually if I order a shirt I'll get a 20 because of my tummy and hips I'll get that so that it won't cling but because this was oversized I ordered an 18 because I thought that would be fine and it is there's plenty of room so that's good that I didn't go 20 because otherwise that had been too big but anyway I thought I haven't done my advent calendar for like three days I don't know why it's just got away with me I mean my back's a little bit better than um it's right someone's walking their dog um than yesterday so i've put some heat patches in my bag and some spray 
like biofreeze and also I've got my naproxen with me so I'm well prepared um, in case and I'm, it's going to be very tricky today because I'm going to take my walking stick and I'm not higher in shop mobility. What I'm going to do is have regular rest stops. Just that when we hired it last time, it was such a pain in the bum and it was so big to get in and out of the shops and a lot of the shops it wouldn't fit in. And also my pain was so much worse from sitting all the time. So... I would take my walker because then I could sit when I wanted to but mum's got that because she's got a um, bad knee so <laughs> I'll take my walking stick and just have regular breaks anyway let's do this advent here we go so what days have I not done so I did six so I must have to do seven yep there it is Holly's got to do loads as well because she's been staying at Louis's so She's cut on her way back now because um, I'm taking her from here. Right, I've got a original and then we've got eight. Oh. Uh. And a white by the looks of it. And nine. Where's nine? There it is. On the snowflake. Oh. <laughs> Why do they make these things so awkward? What have we got on this one? A dark, dark one. So I've got three chocolates. It's not, I, I know it's Vlogmas Day 10, but that doesn't mean it's the 10th. It means it's the 9th because I was the day before vlogging, remember? So let's put this back here. Oh, there's Holly. Holly's just pulled up. Um, and then we need seven, eight and nine on here. Right, where's number seven? There's number seven. So we've got an owl. My favourite. I love owls. Where's number eight? Oh, on the door. And it's a Christmas tree. And number nine is a little gingerbread man. Right, we've finished the first lot of shopping. And now we're just trying to find TGI Fridays because we've got a table booked. Um, and then we can sit down, have a drink. We're all gasping and um, sort out what we've got and then what we need to get but yeah, done quite well I think so far Right, we've made it and we're all going for let me show you the Friday's sesame chicken strips with Jack Daniels sauce and we're going to go with fries and we're getting a house salad or Holly's unless you can get chicken or salmon on the other menu but that we think that might be just a thingy menu Christmas menu and some halloumi sticks to share oh that's a bit zoomed in no it's not I was just too close <laughs> there's me chicken strips and chips and poor Holly hasn't got hers because they brought out the wrong thing so we've got to wait for it to be cooked <laughs> vlog you <laughs> we just ordered mum just churros look at them just got home it's 10 to 5 right we left at Hubbers 3 <laughs> it should be a 40 minute drive yeah anyway um can I show you anything that I got I don't think I could show you my leggings I got some leg I needed some black ones but we didn't really have time to to look but I got these ones they're like a a brown colour um, in extra large for five pounds so I think you can see the color I'm not sure but I'm pleased with those anyway um, I didn't really get very much because I just went for Holly's birthday present which was this coat I can show you that because she's seen it because she's tried it on um, hang on just try <laughs> just trying to get it out okay I'm nearly there right so it's this black cropped um, puffer jacket style coat it's got the nice cuffs inside and a hood and pockets this was from Zara in a small and this was 49.99 so really pleased with that it looks really nice on her and black goes with everything as well doesn't it 
so that was it really the main purpose of the trip was to get oh you've got hair in front of you holly's birthday present so and i succeeded in that and i did walk my hip towards the end felt like it was bone on bone in pain um but anyway i did it i am drove i'm home where's the wine <laughs> Where's the wine? It's in the garage. I'm going to go and get it. Um, I need to put this stuff away and then I'm going to go and get it. So I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. I didn't film much today because it's... You've already seen around Lake, so it's like, <laughs> Lakeside last, last Friday when I went with Ange. And it was a bit difficult because I had bags and the walking stick and, you know. But I just filmed what I could for you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you've not done already. All the blah, 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 blah. And I will see you all in a couple of days for the next version, version? The next edition of Vlogmas. Thank you for all your lovely comments. I really appreciate you commenting, okay? It makes my heart sing when I see someone comment and such lovely comments as well. And I'm so glad you're all enjoying this. Make sure you share it share it away to your own social media pages there's a little share button underneath your youtube video just click that and then you can share it to facebook instagram wherever you like okay i appreciate it and i'll see you soon Mwah. bye